Hey everyone, welcome to another OTD video. Today we're going to try something a little different. We're going to look at a recent 10 pack I acquired called the Hot Wheels Hall of Fame Our All Time Top 10 Favorite Vehicles Collection. If you notice the little logo in the bottom corner there, in the bottom right hand corner, it's the Hot Wheels 35th anniversary logo. So, with that being said, this set did come out in 2003 and it featured 10 vehicles um, that Hot Wheels decided were some of their all-time favorites. Um, I wouldn't say it was their all-time top 10 because obviously there were models that couldn't have been, couldn't be produced for it uh, and some models that had to you know, fit within the realm of, of a retail release. So with that said, I'm gonna open this up here in a second. All right, we have our top 10 Hot Wheels from this 2003 set. If you look up top, uh, you have a collector favorite in the Dairy Delivery. It has a special um, Hall of Fame logo on it. Uh, then you have some other favorites. You have the Roger Dodger. That was, that's been a classic Hot Wheels since the 70s. Uh, 67 Pontiac GTO and the old number five. Yeah, you know, there's. I would say there's definitely more popular Hot Wheels out there um, at this time period than those. 67 Camaro, probably the all-time um, collector favorite. I guess maybe that's why that one got the real riders. Yeah. Uh, and then you have the 56 Ford, the 57 Chevy. Um, two cars that were definitely favorites uh, in the in the uh, mid 2000s. There. Both of them uh, were picked for the Red Lion Club and HighwaysCollectors.com, so obviously some collector favorites if you're going to be selected for one of those series. Uh, then you have the Volkswagen Beetle, always a collector favorite, and the Scorch and Scooter. Uh, Scorch and Scooter came out in 97, uh, instantly a collector hit. Uh, oddly enough, though, it's not so much a hit anymore. Motorcycles kind of have gone away, crazy enough. Uh, those that have been collecting for the last... I don't know, maybe 10 or, or plus years may remember that there was like a motorcycle craze and everything motorcycle was hot and all the collectors were buying them up. And now, now it just seems like those are not a thing that collectors are focusing on anymore. So strange. Uh, but lastly, we have the purple passion. That's obviously a collector favorite. It's been a collector favorite since it was released. Uh, I think it was 1989 was that one. So uh, that's that set in a nutshell. But the reason uh, that I wanted to break that out is I kind of wanted to do a what if. What if this set was released today? What would we have in this set? Uh, I did set up some kind of arbitrary rules as to what th my set would include for the top 10 all-time favorite Hot Wheels of the last 15 years. Yes, uh, I'm gonna since we've already established the all-time favorites um, of the last, you know, since uh, uh, as of 2003, I'm gonna pick the top 10 cars I think collectors would want in this set. Circa 2019. So I did have some rules. They're kind of uh, just like I said, small arbitrary rules. I picked up. I picked up, I kind of picked these as if Hot Wheels was selling it. So they had to kind of be reasonable um, cars that could be released at retail. And they had to be castings that were currently in use. So with that said, let's go through the top 10. They are in no particular order. First, we have the Nissan Skyline B GTR BNR 34. What a great car that is, huh? Obviously a modern day collector favorite. It is actually getting an open hood, opening hood in the uh, Redline Club this year. So something to look forward to in that one. But man, this is a car that is definitely gobbled up every time we see it at retail. Then maybe we can just stack them up there, huh? What do you think? All right. Another collector favorite. The Volkswagen T1 panel bus. That is a, uh, that's one of those, that's, it's, it's obviously a collector favorite, right? Anytime it comes out, it's, it's snatched up from any line. I mean, specifically pop culture. It's been uh, predominantly released in pop culture and every, you know, for 
as unfriendly as some collectors like to think that line is to them, they do sure gravitate towards the Volkswagen T1 panel. So after that, let's go to the another collector favorite in the 83 Chevy Silverado, right? Can't argue with that one. Uh, originally released in 2008, this one was from last year's Shop Trucks. I don't have that modern classics release yet. I kind of been trying to get that one for what I consider a reasonable price. So, but 83 Chevy Silverado, uh, another car, um, all these cars, I'm, I'm essentially going with cars that kind of are an event every time they are released. Uh, every, these three cars, every time they're released, they're, they're hoarded. They're for lack of a better term, scalped. They are, they, they are, they're just collector favorites these days and people are willing to pay lots of money. So. Already, this is a tremendous set, right? Um, if you're out there, you're probably picking this up just based on those three cars alone. But we have seven more to go. Uh, how about a collector favorite from 2006? It's kind of been the the iconic Hot Wheel car of the brand since 2006. Can you guess? The Bone Shaker. Yes, the Bone Shaker. Um, I mean, there's, what's, what's, what's there to say? I mean, you know, we have a one-to-one -one scale bone shaker, you know, out there. I actually, I actually kind of believe that Hot Wheels has two of them. Um, I've seen them recently with uh, two different paint jobs on the road there. So uh, maybe somebody from Mattel can confirm that. But I think there may be two one-to-ones out there nowadays. But this is the original. This is the OG. This is the OG bone shaker from 2006 first editions. All right, let's continue along here. I, you know, we have to have a muscle car in here, right? A muscle car. Uh, you know, they've kind of, you know, taken a backseat to JDM as of late, but it seems like the most popular muscle car these days, um, you know, is the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. It's not going to roll away, is it? No. Okay. Yes, the 1970 Dodge Charger RT. Uh, I mean. You know, it's been done in premium several times now. It was a convention dinner car. Uh, this one was one of the the mainline Fast and the Furious releases. So, and that one that one came out in. Uh, oh, I just did a showcase on this. It's on the YouTube here. Uh, I believe it was 2012, 2011. I want to say 2011. Change my answer. Final answer. All right, that one's gonna roll on me a little bit here. All right, we'll see there. All right, so we have five, right? Already an awesome five pack. Um, these these next five are, are the true heavy hitters. So, how about um, how about our our flagship? Remember at the top you had the dairy delivery in the uh, tin set. Well, how about the blown delivery? Yes, the blown delivery. Uh, it's that one, that one collectors have been gaga over for quite some time. Uh, it hasn't really appeared at retail i don't believe no it's just um i think this is the closest it came to retail is the the mail-in one from 2011 so but that one came out in uh i think it was 2010 was uh, it was a how was collector's exclusive there but needless to say this one this one is uh this one if you ever saw it at retail it would make people go crazy Yes. Okay. Let's set that one back there. Okay. Top four. How about uh, how about a truck? How about a truck that makes everyone go crazy? How about the Texas Drive 'Em? One car that one casting that I am still trying to chase on all the variants of. This is the original Texas Drive 'Em from 2009 in the classics. Uh, I think it was Series Five. Yes, so that is one hard casting to collect. Let me tell you, still chasing this thing down. Let's see, you had some better releases with the, the bikes that were detailed and some, you know, real riders, but can't ignore the OG, can't ignore the original casting, the original release. Let's see, let me move the skyline up here. I really hope none of these fall off here. I might sit myself up. I don't know. Okay, third car, or third from last car. 
What do you think it is? It is the 66 Batmobile. Yes, licensed cars in the last 15 years have been huge for Hot Wheels. So you can't ignore probably the most popular licensed car in the 66 Batmobile. I, I kind of wanted to put the Ghostbusters uh, Ecto in here. And I kind of decided against it. I, I, I felt like the 66 Batmobile is certainly more popular z these days. I mean, the thing's been like a treasure hunt. It's been, you know, RLC releases, convention, uh, it, it, premium end, end over end. So uh, definitely had to include that one. All right. Can you guess our top two? I think you can. All right. How about a Dotson? Dotson. 510 bluebird how about it everyone goes crazy every time we see a dotson bluebird 510 so there is one of those in the top 10 and last but not least i mean you have to know it by now right that 55 chevy bel air gasser yes last year was the year of the gasser the, more specifically, the 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And this one would be, it would have to be our number one, right? I mean, exceeding the, the Bluebird. What do you think? That is that is my set. That is my top 10 set. How many of you would buy it? I know you, you, you would have to buy this, right? I mean, people would not sell over this. I mean, if you did this thing at like 100 bucks, people would be buying this set, right? Oh my God. So... Yeah, this this is uh this is what I would pick if I had a top ten uh, retail set of the last um, castings of the last fifteen years. You know, obviously a lot of, has changed um, for collectors in the last fifteen years. This would far and away um, exceed the previous thirty five years um, in the set that's underneath it. So, uh, what do you think? What's your top ten favorite Hot Wheels of all time? Or if you want to go uh, new, what I did the top ten favorite Hot Wheels of the last fifteen years. Uh, go ahead. Let it, let me know. I would be. I would love to see your top tens. So you can mention those in the comments below. And uh, yeah, let's. Uh, how about this? Let's get a get, get a last close up of those. What a set! All right, guys. That is it for me. Hope you enjoyed this one. Adios.